Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
Seen Hall Prep, the prep on the uniforms, not a big fan of that. Playing Westfield, Westfield with a big, big upset last week against Summit. And beat them probably in, I don't know, I want to say seven years, could be nine years. And uh, they had a tough one two days ago against Montclair. We also played Richmond very strong, so Montclair is really coming up. And now they got some Hall Prep 20, Josh Caramango is on the face off. Wayne closest to us is number 31, Ben Seward. It looks like Christian Gilford, number 11, is on the far wing on the face-off. I believe. i got to get his number, but I think it's Christian. Christian's brother is our goalie number seven, uh, 41, Corey Gilford. Oh, looks like she's all prep moves. But they're not calling for it. Not sure why. Maybe the ball moves or something. Caramango on the fix. Wins it cleanly. Gilford's going to get the ground ball. Still loose. Seton Hall comes away with it. Defense is anchored by uh, Captain. Captains Michael Marshall, 43, and Scott Harris, 33. And also number 44, Drew Pravlin. Again, his goal is Corey Gilford. Corey's a junior. Number 41. Seed Hall Prep is a very, very good lacrosse team. Um, I don't know if you've ever beat Seed Hall Prep. These guys are always top three in the state, and they are so far this year. So this is going to be a test for, uh, for the Blue Devils. Marshall on ball behind. Kravick also over there. Evan Alvarez, number 42, is a short stick defensive midfielder. He's out there with uh, Ben Seward, number 31, who's on the faceoff. Christian Hill for number 11 is still out there. Shot. Yeah. By Gilford. It's 1 0 from Seton Hall Prep. Yeah, that was sticks out on Gilford. I think he probably wants that one back. It was a well-placed shot, uh, but he had, uh, he had eyes on it. I just uh, missed that one, which is fine. We got number two, uh, Luke Spade in the game. He's on the far wing on the face-off. He's a sophomore. He's played a lot of attack. He's played midfield both defensively and offensively in the last couple games. Paramango on the face again. This one, T. Hall wins. It's contested by Seward. Ball's loose. Both Westfield players went for the man and saved the ball. And we're getting legal decision on Drew. I think Drew came out of the same box before there was possession. So on the faceoff, the attack and defense have to stay in the restraining box where they start until someone has possession of the ball. No one had possession. Senior Hall Prep came out. Westfield ball. Senior captain Dan McGann has it. He's going to look to clear it himself. He gets double teamed quickly. Seton Hall knocks it loose. Ball still loose. The hands on it. Tony Lamb number three is in the mix. We get a failure to advance. So Westfield has, once you get over the midfield line, they have 10 seconds to get it into the box. They did it in that case, but the ball was loose. So Seton Hall gets it. Garrett Ferguson, number eight, on the ride along with Cody Lamb, but Seton Hall clears it. 
get a whistle, Ward on Seton Hall, all sorts of unique violations in the first couple minutes here. Billy Gurney, 27 with the ball, he's going to try to clear with his legs. And he loses it. Good check there by Seton Hall Prep. Gurney coughed it up. Gurney's going to stay out there, McGann still is out there. Ben Seawood, LSM, Long Stick Committee is out there. A lot going on there. Failure to advance, coming out of the box. Warding, illegal procedures. Shaking out the cobweb, still early in the season. So Ben Seawood's our Long Stick Committee, number 31. He's up top, they beat it down low. Seton Hall player, player thought about shooting it before he got it. Milford comes out of the net, scoots up the ground ball, gets off the Paris, Paris is a great move. And he's going to wheel it up the sideline. He's got a strong cradle, he's going to get it down to Cody Lang. Great play there by Rowan Ford Milford, getting off the Jack Paris, great play by Jack Paris. Westfield's going to settle it down here, get some middies in. We'll look to get the defense a little bit of a rest. Christian Guilford in there now, number 11. Passes off to Dan McGann, number 12, down to Billy Gurney, 27. Colin Coyle, number one. First time mentioning his name, he is just having an all-star season so far. Every game he's either scoring and even more importantly, creating plays and he has a ton of assists, but he's really been a rock uh, on this offense for, for Westfield. UMass commit. Gurney with the ball up top. Number 27. Over to Dan McGann. It's going to sweep right. Now from there. Gets it down to Cody Lamb. Cody's going to hold on to it. It's Cody's spot. He's going to try to beat his man top side above him and get his hands free. Early slide comes. Skip pass. Shot. Oh, oh he's off the post. Billy Gurney ripped one. I thought it hit the net. It hit the post. And it would make sense. He became ricocheting out. Cody Lamb. Intelligently backs it up. Cody's looking to get his hands free. They're sliding early to Cody. They know Cody's a threat. And they're sliding early. Pass comes out of the game. He gets pushed. They're probably going to call that. Yeah, loose ball, push, no penalty. But Westwood's going to get the ball back. So the Seton Hall prep, they know our strengths. And, and Cody Lamb is definitely one of them. And they're sliding early to Cody. The game with the ball up top. Down to Guilford. Christian comes over the top, nothing there. Again, trying to find something. Tight quarters. No move at the gurney. Here comes Cody, trying his hands free. Early slide, shot goes wide. I think there's two slides there, one from behind and one from the feet. They're not going to, it looks like they don't want Cody Lamb to beat them. Cody's a small player, though. He's going to keep his head up and look for where that slide's coming from. It should create a lot of opportunities for his teammates. Colin Coyle behind. Number one. Back to Derek Ferguson. Derek's having a real nice year. A bunch of goals. First year, really getting considerable time on varsity. Here comes Coyle trying to back his way in. Nothing there. Up top to McGann. Ball's loose. Still loose. Cody Lamb picks it up. Stop. Save. Stay there by the Seton Hall prep goalie. Stop Cody Lamb. A little unsettled situation for Westville. Colin Coyle with a great ride. Knocks his three and picks it up. Seton Hall prep has three players back. Colin Coyle wide and doesn't push it. Westville's going to settle down. No real break opportunity there after Coyle uh, stripped the ball. Smart play pulling it out and slowing it down. It's just him and Cody really going against three of the Seton Hall prep defensemen, so nothing there. Same middies out there. Billy Gurney, Christian Guilford, Dan again. Westville getting a new offensive set now. McGann's up top. Behind the coil. Westfield has two on the crease. Looks like a uh, 1 4 1 for Westfield. Feeds the crease inside. Turns up. Feeds the crease inside. 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 
sure that was three twenty seven. Westbrook ties it up one one. Yeah, that was Billy Gurney. He's fired up. Gavin McConkey. Gavin McConkey, number 24 in the game. He's on the far win. Help with the face-off. Caramango's going to be facing pretty much all the draws today. Then two were close to the call. Sam Caramango wins it. He's trying to pick it up. Ball's loose. Westfield's contesting everything, but you get Westfield on a loose ball push, shoot the ball. When the ball's on the ground and you push the other team, you don't get a penalty for it. The other team just gets the ball. Number five, Alex Kim in the game. He's a senior. He's a joystick D midi. Really played well the last couple games during his time. So you got LaConte and Alex Kim on a short stick D mini as well with Ben Seward. Still got Marshall pa uh, Paris and Pradlick on close to. Oh, ball's actually by Dan LaConte. Contested by Pradlick and he picks it up. Great play there by both of them. All cross all the way to Scott Paris. <laughs> Jack Paris. Jack gets it back to our goalkeeper. Still for one pass down the power. Goals along. Oh, it's on the line. That one back. Great teeth there by Gilford or Goldie. Goldie does a great job finding Tom Coyle all alone. Tom Coyle tries to pick the corner just this. He's got it back, he's behind Dodgy. He's got a half a step, rolls back, shot, go! Christian Gilford back in the game, number 11, far side on the uh, face off. Great heads up play there by uh, Corey Gilford, finding Colin Coyle on that transition opportunity. A great individual effort there by Colin Coyle. Ball's loose, he's gonna go in the box, which will release it. Ball's loose. Colin Coyle oh. comes away with the drops it and picks it back up. We get a quick timeout by Coach Wertheimer. I do have a free possession. We have two timeouts to half. No doubt we're gonna give one of the big two possessions. Good call there by Coach Wertheimer. We got Tom uh, Pozeski also, assistant varsity coach. He coached a uh, freshman team last year. Brendan Hickey is our head JV coach. He runs the box and fills the substitution. Looks like Coach Wartimer is talking to the offense right now. Coach Pozeski has a goalie background. He's talking to the team. I think the third group is a lot of our JV players trying to figure out what their next celebration is going to be after a goal. Two on Westfield. Again, I was I was nervous about playing Summit. I was equally nervous playing two the whole prep. We're up by a goal, and we're running with these guys. A lot of lacrosse left. We're looking good. For any names I get wrong or mispronounced, I apologize. I don't know if Ben's last name is Seward or Seward. I'm going with Seward. Apologies if it's wrong. First meetings are out there. Gil first journey in the game. Back stays the same. Cody Lamb, Colin Coyle, Garrett Ferguson. They're working it around. They're in an open set right now. Getting everyone to touch. 
Oh, little lazy pass there by Cody. Doesn't get through to uh, Ferguson. Seed Hall comes away with it, and they're looking to clear. Colin Coyle on the ride. And Seed Hall Crip gets it over. They get a touch. When you get over that uh, 50 yard line, you have 10 seconds to get it into the restraining box, which they did. So now they're going to slow things down, get their offensive middies out there. Evan Alvarez back in the game, number 42. Billy Gurney out there also. Billy's, uh, you know, definitely an offensive midi, but he's got great wheels, and if he happens to get caught on the defensive side, it's not a big deal. He can hold his own. Team Hall dodging from top center. Keeping it hot. See we're not ball. Shot goes wide. See the old player. He was pretty far outside. He got his hands free and ripped one, but just went wide. Marshall on ball behind. Number 43. Feeds down low. Good step there by Marshall. Knocks it free. Ball goes down. See how Prep gets it back. Good act of stick there in the passing lane by Michael Marshall. Fundamentals there. Shot. Goes in. Next up down shot. Goes in the upper left hand corner. Tough one for Gilbert to stop. I don't know that attacking's name number left uh, on the far side lefty, but he's got a uh, he's got a great shot. Last one went wide. This one's down the upper corner. Number seven, Stephen Chorba in the game, senior, far wing. Seward stays in on the near wing, and Caramango again on the face. We're all tied up at two. Caramango's doing well. He's, you know, I'd say it's about 50-50 right now. A lot of battles for ground balls. They jinxed him. That was a late timeout. A you know, player had possession. He fell down, and the coach was screaming timeout. He lost the ball, but the referee still granted them the timeout. Close call, but close enough, I guess. No big deal. See you all know, perhaps going to have the ball to restart. out there, along with Evan Alvarez, short stick team middies. Seward still with the LSM long stick middie. Paris, Travis, Marshall on close speed. Corey Gilford in the net. Sometimes, I'm not a defensive mind at all. Oh! Feed the crease, gets knocked down, plays up, and picks it up. And he's got West Virginia zone recently, packing it in a little bit. Giving Seton Hall some 
offense. Here comes Corey Guilford. Long pass. He's going to take a shot in the open net. Oh, the net was open. Seno Prep was uh, in a 10 man ride, so the goal was out. Corey Guilford saw the open net and took a shot at it. I love it. But the uh, Seno Prep goal got back in time to save it. Crazy things have happened. Paris on ball. Shot goes high. Wilson might have got a piece of that. But yeah, it looks like it looks like West Coast in the zone. They're packing it in pretty tight. They're contesting ball like Marshall is right now. They're pushing that a little bit, but Team Hall Prep keeping it hot. Skip pass there. You know, trying to get their hands free in the shot. Nothing yet. Good be there by Marshall. That's how you break the zone. You keep the ball moving and you get a skip pass. Shot and save Gilford. You know, back backs it up. Sun's coming out. 30 seconds left in the quarter. You know, prep pressing shot three. Gilford, another save. Ball comes loose. Harris just misses it. It's going to be off-season off-draft. You see there by Harris. I think it's probably going to have to shot at it also. About 10 seconds left. I don't think Marsh is going to look to be a hero here. You still want to give Seen Hall prep a break. Alvarez with it. Down to Alex Kim. That's going to be the end of the quarter. All tied up. I'll take it. Great first quarter by Westgate. Goals by uh, Bill Gurney, the key from Garrett Ferguson, and also a uh, great individual effort by Colin Coyle on our second goal. Corey Guilford's done great. I think he's had about five saves, which in lacrosse is a lot. If you go in a game and you have 10 saves, that's a lot. And I want to say he you know, definitely had four, maybe five that quarter. Which is awesome. Once again, hold their own for the best teams in the state. Mango on the face. Gavin McConkey is on the near wing this time. Two on the far wing. No change to see our attack. We would expect to see a bunch of changes. See all prep in the uh, face off. He got nudged a little bit when the ball was loose. So they're going to give it back to Seton Hall prep. Good spade back in the game, team meeting number two. We see he's out there with Seaward and Gavin McConti, 24. Westfield field looks great. You know, I think time possession is definitely tilted towards Seton Hall Prep. So we tied 2-2, but Seton you know, Hall had a lot more opportunities. Had the ball a lot more. Feed the crease there. What a shot. Gilford. Gilford with a tremendous save one-on-one against Seton Hall players down the seam. 
easy clear over the midfield line for Seward. See if he can look to give it out, and he does. Oh. Gurney had number two, Luke Spain, coming from the back, gave it to him, passes a little behind him. Luke Spain couldn't handle it. Now Seton Hall perhaps is in transition. The hustle by Luke Spain getting back. Great save there by Guilford. Really keeping us in this game. This isn't hockey. When you're one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, you should be the goalie 90, 95% of the time. So any stop like that is tremendous. Seen all prep, prep moving the ball. Skip pass. Step down shot. Goes in. Anytime a midfielder has a time like that, 10 yards out, stepping down into the towards the goal, has his hands free, that's a tough one to stop. Weak side hip against Guilford goes in. Defense not moving there. Crap is up 3 2. Caramango on another face. This one's tied up. No one can kind of touch these guys. No one's going to have to squirt it out. Caramango does. Trying to get the ground ball. Struggling with it a little bit. He gets pushed from behind. We'll call that. Good job by Josh Caramango. So these face off sticks are like specialized sticks. They're super soft and flexible, and they're great for, for face offs. They're horrific for picking up ground balls. Really tough to pick up a ground ball with a face off stick. So that's what you saw Caramango struggling there a little bit. Began with the ball. Out there with Trish and Guilford and Billy Gurney again. Last year, those two guys on the crease looks like they're in a 1 4 1. Cody on the far wing. He's going to dodge the wing, trying to get his hands. He draws a curly slide. Nothing there. He's not done. Feeds across crease to Billy Gurney. Billy Gurney has an amazing shot. Stopped by the goalie, and he stepped in the crease and he crossed it. See, that's what I was talking about before. Cody Lane had a couple of early slides come. His head was up. He found a cross piece pass to Billy Gurney. Great scoring opportunity. Look for more of that. Seen all prep with a nice clear. No problem with that last one. Cody Lamb with a great feat. Acrobatic shot by Gurney, which we've seen before. Unfortunately, he stepped in the face. He's still out there, D Mitty. Dan McGann and him are, are both still out there. See where he got in, which is great. Cross pass, shot goes high. That's that skip pass we were talking about. Great opportunities when you, when you can find it. Against his own gate. All prep definitely feels a little more comfortable now against the zone dig. Found some seams last couple possessions. There's another one skip past the crease at the goal. And it's just a great offensive play by Seton Hall Prep. Skip pass behind and a quick feed to the crease. Tough to defend. Easy goal for Seton Hall Prep. Well executed. Nothing Gilford can do that. Mango again doing a good job at X. She went on the far wing with Pontus closest to us. Mango won the move. 
and he gets held, I think. He does get held. It's going to be the Westfield ball. Caramangle won the face off through him. They got tied up, and the ref called it. Westfield 7 in Fresh Smitties. Game 1 began during Guilford. His hands free shot just goes wide. Good quick slip move there by Gurney. Heavens up for Keaton. But Keaton is laying out his hands free, just missed. Gurney's getting some good looks here. Boyle oh, behind, Dodge, and beats his hand. Beats a crease, Gurney again, shot, goal! Another good opportunity for Gurney to just on the finish. Got a great dodge from Boyle behind. He beat his defender through the slide, set the crease, and Gurney finished it. That's Gurney second. Makes a four three. Then Colin Coyle has been creating offense, not only for himself, but for his teammates all season. We're about three games in, but still. Playing great. Caramango on the face. This time Seton Hall wins it clean. They pick it up. They're going to go backwards, but they throw it out of bounds. Another thing about those flexible face off sticks, it's also tough to catch and throw with. You get the ground ball. That time, ball got stuck in the top of his cross and kind of flung away from him. I hate those things. Cody Lamb with the ball on the far side. It's a whack. That first mini line is still out there. Boyle has it. About halfway through the second quarter. Boyle dodges from up top. Across the slide, gets it down to McGann. Nothing there for McGann. From Cody trying to create. He draws two slides. Nothing there. Gets his hands free shot. Gets blocked by the defender. Cody got the shot off. Hit his defender. Good aggressive ride here by Cody Lamb and Stu Gurney. Ball's loose. Aaron Ferguson comes in. Ball still loose. Cody can pick it up. A lot of stuff going on in the field. The refs aren't blowing any whistles. There's no any flags. Super aggressive ride there by Westfield. Really dirty. Garrett Ferguson. Cody Lamb. Playing super physical to get the ball back. The coach has got to love that. Quill sets a pick that's knocked down. No call, which is good. I like these drafts. And let the boys play. It's physical. A lot of activity. Ferguson behind. He's got a short stick. He dodges left. Gets it up top. Boyle. Boyle shoots. Goal! Ties it back in the net. Ties it up in four. Garrett Ferguson here. Playing a win here. He wound up with a short stick playing him. Any kind of attack when you have a short stick playing you, you got to beat that guy. He did. Set the ball all the way up top of Coyle, and Coyle ripped one. Four four. Caramango again. Luke Spade in there, number two, close to us. Caramango wins it. Ball's loose. Caramango's winning something. He's having a problem with the ground ball. He's winning the move. It's the hard part. Alice Kim in the game. Number five. Stage things out there with Seward. Great response there by Westville. Down 4 2. Responding with two of their own to tie it up. That second goal really set up by the super aggressive ride by Westville, by that attack team. Anytime you have attacking. Riding like that, coaches love it. 
Getting all prepped, keeping it hot. Looking for that seam. Looking for the crease. Nothing there. Find the crease this time. Shot. Good stop. I see where you hit some. Gilford has it. I think that's going to spin Gilford a little bit. But it, he'll take it. Excuse me. Sweet word a little bit. Long pass. Shot. Pass. No, it's a pass. Excuse me. It's a Ferguson. Great job there. Corey Gilford really seeing the field on the clear. They're giving up the long passes, and Corey's finding them. That time it's to Ferguson. Gilford with the ball. Got a short stick on him. Brings his man behind. Dodges right. Nothing there. Up top to Coyle. Coyle tries to sneak it inside to Ferguson. Went off his defender's head and goes out of bounds. Westfield's going to keep possession. So we got Dan again behind with the ball. Going against the shortstop. Christian Gilford, number 11, also out there. The West is what's called. Oh, keep the crease! Go oh, by Ferguson! Quick speed from Colin Coyle. Ferguson finds Ferguson. Ferguson will school quick stick, waste no time, and buries it. West is up 5 4. What I was saying is. That Westfield offensive set, they had their middies behind. They were converting the midfield. That confuses a lot of defenses. They're not sure what to do. It confused the call prep there. Ferguson was wide open on the crease and buried it. Westfield giving them different looks. It is working. Caramango again. Jack Clark is in the game number 30. He's our long stick D Mitty. Seward's taking a break. Procedure violation against Paramango. He's going to come off. He moved before the whistle was blown. Evan Alvarez is going to come in. Jack Clark is going to stay out there, number 30. Gavin County, 24 is still out there. 5 4 Westfield. Colin Coyle's not the All-State Athlete of the Week pretty soon. I'm going to have a problem. Seen all prep. Dodge from up top. Jack Clark's out there, number 30 with the ball. Nothing there. Seen all prep. Look at that seam. Skip pass. Leading the crease. Nothing there. Good be there by Michael Marshall. Men outside. Conti on ball. He broke down there a little bit. Jack Clark split a little early, created opportunity. Pass was deflected. He was an awesome. Corey Gilbert saying it was a football Seton Hall prep, but the rest are going to let Seton Hall prep keep it. West one's up by four. Get pass, hands free, shot goes high wide. Two hall press packs it up, they're going to retain possession. Marshall on ball. He recoils a little bit. Travel's out there. <clears throat> Evan Alvarez, Jack Clark. Good face dodge there by 11. Shot gets blocked. Doesn't get through. Good move there by 11. He's a player. Don't know who he is. Great technical face dodge. Gets the shot off, but it gets deflected. Never makes the goal. Prep working it around. Skip pass. Ball's loose. Get it back. Trying to get a pass down low. Marshall had a stick in the passing lane. Deflected it. Gilson has it. We got a 10 man ride going again. The goalie's out of the crease. Easy pass this time, not so easy. I think it's the Evan Alvarez. Small interception. They got it off. Oh! The flag comes out of Marshall. Marshall plays some aggressive key there. He's out of bounds. 
So on the turnover, Seno Prep had a great scoring opportunity. I think Marks saw that. Played a little aggressive defense. Took what I would call a good penalty. Probably would have resulted in the goal had he not. Marshall, super high lacrosse IQ. And the good news is it's a technical foul to push, so it's only 30 seconds. So we'll take that all day. That's a smart, smart penalty by Mark. Marshall's used to two-minute penalties in hockey, so he'll take a 30-second one all day long. See all prep on the man up. Colby Parmalee is in the game now. With Marshall out. Close team. Out there with Pravlik and Paris. Seward and Alvarez. Shot. Yeah. Same yeah. Yeah. again. Same yeah. save there by Corey. Yeah. He's seen the ball great. Yeah. 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 still man down, but shouldn't be for much longer. Gilford dodges his man. Yeah. 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 And a goal. Yeah. Fantastic half of lacrosse on both sides of the field for Westville. Corey Guilford's playing fantastic in that. Not just because of that great play, just in his brother in the last goal. He's had a bunch of saves, really kept Westville in this. Tom Coyle, once again, really leading this offense. Involved in probably four to six goals. Let's see what Coach Wertheimer drew up. 20 seconds left. McGann has it behind. Sweeps behind. Looking for something. Nothing there. Up top to Colin Coyle with less than 10 laps. He's asking for a pick. And McGann, here comes Coyle. Takes a shot. Goes right off the seat and all prep player. Don't think the seat hall prep is fair to like. Colin Coyle is just absolutely torpedoing him with a shot. But that's the game. We'll be back in about 15 minutes. Six four left. Thank <laughs> you. 
First of all, these track kids running around here are quick as shit. Yeah, I shouldn't say that. All right, we're starting the second half here in about a minute. Just an all-star first half for Westville. See if we can keep it going. Corey Gilford had a fantastic first half in that. Bunch of big saves, bunch of big clears. He's on the board with an assist to his brother, which is awesome. Colin Coyle again leading the offense. I think he has two goals, two assists. Joey Journey has a couple goals. Garrett Ferguson has a goal. That's what has a lot of weapons. Not really sure where it's going to come from. Cody Lamb carried Westfield scoring four or five goals against Montclair a couple days ago. So pretty well balanced offense here. Starting the second half. Gavin Lapons is going for it from a far win. Short stick. Mitty. Seward number 31 closer to us. Aramango on the fix. See how it wins this one. They pick it up. Have possession. Hey, Claire, Caramango's going to get off. Evan Alvarez is going to come on. See the whole prep's going to sub off there. Face off Mitty's and get on their offensive set. Sun's out. Beautiful day. Let's go. Let's go. Still in the zone, it looks like. You know, Pep trying to keep that ball moving. To get it up top. Skip pass. Good recovery there by Westville. Pass down low, all the way up top. Get past shot. Line. The ball was there, moving there by Sinal Pep, but, you know, his own defense is supposed to give up the outside shot, and that's, that's the shot that got there. We'll take that. Prep keeping the ball up top. See the crease. Number five had an opportunity, but he ran away. 
Marshall on ball, second pass playing again. And spray shot. Save Gilford. Gilford's doing the ball great. Another big save. Gilford with a great outlet pass to Seward. Across the 50, they clear it. Seward's looking for help. Gets it down somehow. Two goals, taking advantage of that goalie being out of the net. Seven for Westfield. Good finish there by Ferguson. Caramanga wins this one, picks up the ground ball. He gets checked out of the stick. She would not out of the prep player's stick. Ball still loose. Prep comes away with the two ground ball there by 23. Maybe seven out both ways. Alex Kim in the game number five is out there with Luke Spade number two, two middies. Prep has it behind. Ball is loose. Prep will get it back. Let's build up 7 4. Westfield's giving up that 15 yard shot. Perhaps trying to get a better opportunity. Skip pass there, shot. Why? Now, things been working is getting into the attack and then a goal line extended or slightly behind the cage. But what's really been working is when that player gets it, feeding the free split. That's tough to defend. I thought again, find some couple opportunities here to have a chance for to get a shot off and he's pass, passing up the opportunity. Just get past there, shot. Save yeah. Gilford. He's got a piece of that one. See how that backs it up, keeps the possession. Another save to Gilford. Yeah. Prep behind. Up front. Five does not want to shoot the ball. Good pass there. No harm, no foul. Prep behind. Draw some attention. Skip pass down low. Again, nothing there. They feed the crease. Travel to slug the pass. Ball's loose. Prep gets the back. Slide is down. It's going to be a slasher on Travel. Hands free shot. Terrific shot. More of a spike. Even if Travel got a slash, he came out aggressively on the prep player, and they called it. So Travel's going to sit. Parmalee, number 18, is going to come in the game, play close team with Paris and Marshall. She went out there with Evan Alvarez. It's going to be a minute penalty on the slash, personal foul. Travel's going to look to cut into this lead. Ref has a minute to take advantage of it, working it around. Good pass, good play there by Jack Paris. Picking the pass away, picks it off, drops it off to Gilford. We're man down here, it's going to be tough. Clear, but not so tough. Dan McGann gets it. Still have to get a touch. Still about 30 seconds left in the penalty. Surprised, perhaps not doubling the ball. They should. But it looks like they're content to let penalty run out. Good play there by McGann. Good patience and good awareness there by Gilford. Gilford's just having a great team, not only stopping the shots, but clearing the ball. They 
game has to find penalties off the brawl even. The game has to sort of shift behind. Again, he's in many, he's in third, he's going to try to create from behind. Nothing really there. Gets it up to Cody over to Colin Coyle. Back to Cody. Cody's going to dodge through his strong left hand. Trying to get his hands free, still trying. Slip. Get through over to Ferguson, up top to Coyle. Coyle had a strong oh, piece of piece to Brady. Good shot by Brady. Save. Guilford, Christian Guilford got the rebound. He shot it wide, but a good effort there by Christian Guilford. Good ball movement, got a couple shots out of it. Good opportunity. They didn't drop this time. Ferguson on the line. He keeps his man in front of him. Colin Coyle comes over to help. You know, Pratt has 20 seconds to get it over the fifth, and they're going to get close to it. They get it over. Just in the nick of time, they get a touch. That player gets triple team, loses the ball, they get it back. Good ride there. Contesting by Westfield. Not giving Seen Hall Prep anything easy. Good hustle there. Gavin McConty coming in again, number 24, short stick in the middle. Alex Kim out there, number five, the dumb ball. She was out there, 31. Grab Pippi to hot, hands free shot, goes off the crossbar. Good bounce shot there by Pratt. Hits the crossbar, they get it back. Good move there by Pratt, he gets over there quickly. Prevents the prep attack and from doing anything. Really hard to dodge into his own. He's trying a little bit here. Good pass, shot, save Gilbert. Gilbert the force is great. He's giving up these outside shots. Gilbert's seeing the ball great. This time they're keeping it going in the cage. Easy clear to see where he's going to bring it down the middle. He's loose oh. and falls loose. Oh, he tries to get it. Gabby Oconte comes in. He misses it. Ball still loose. Got a whistle. They called a push on Westfield. I didn't see it. So it's going to be Seward Prep ball. Good play there by Seward. Forced it a little bit to Ferguson. He hasn't been in, a, in too many offensive situations. Trying to get to Ferguson. Couldn't connect on the pass. But there's a good transition opportunity for Westfield. Let's go take advantage of these unsettled situations a few times. Results in goal. You almost had one there. Get past hands for 11. Shot goes wide. Prep backs it up. Keeps possession. Eleven up top. New player. Down low, across. Conti on deep. He has a big tail check there over the head. Ball's loose. Bradley picks it up. Good jump ball there by Drew. Over to Mike Marshall. Marshall's going to be in the middle of the field. You see him. Here we go again. Down to Cody Collins. Ferguson. Down to Cody Collins. Out there. 
Guilford, Gurney, and McGann. Gurney has it. Gurney still has it, gets it up top to McGann. Over to Cody Lamb. Don't look for Westfield being a rush here. Gurney has it on the far side. Skip pass him again. Again pulls it out. Colin Coyle up top. Westfield to the sub in. Player. Here we go, number 21's in the game, Kobe Walden, freshman. Kobe was keeping stops last year, and now he's on the field playing Marshall Cross. And he's got the ball behind, he's just attacking, he's got a short stick. Facing no time, dodges from behind, up there. He gets it over to Kobe. All right, first news are out there, Gurney, Guilford, McGann. Coyle's out there in attack. Ferguson, Cody Lamb. 
21 seconds to go. Looks like this Kyle Coyle's going to start with the ball on the far side at around the 42 yard line. Again, has it up top. Down to Cody. Cody's going to try to clear it from the wing. Get his hands free. Up top from the damn shot. Goes off, I think, the post. Goes out of bounds. Colin Coyle backs it up. Three seconds left. No one almost got past him. Hit the post. Forces in the crease for something. They can't find it. Trying to get a shot off. Into the corner. Great. Quarter for Westfield. They're up eight five. Be back in a few. About 30 seconds. So let's build up 8 5 against Seton Hall Prep. Doesn't happen too often, if ever. Let's go looking at Looking for another big upset here. Down angle on the face. This is even on the far side. It's on the near side. Here we go. Next right now, squirts out. Seton Hall prep player has had, had a, he had a beat on it. So Westfield comes away with it for a second. Ferguson's going to battle for it now. Cody Lane comes in with a hit. And it was a good hit. Ball goes off Seton Hall prep. Westfield ball. Good aggressive play there by Cody Lane. Good battle by Josh Paramango. A lot of stuff going on there. Good play by Ferguson, too. Keep it alive. Westfield possession. Possession's huge. Fourth quarter. Began Gurney and Gilford are out there. Westfield up in five. Fourth quarter. Cody has it on the far side. Cody dodging. Gets his hands free. Scores and scores! Cody Lamb comes inside on his hand. He usually likes to go top side. This time he went to go on his stand and tucked in there, got his hands free and buried it. Nine, five, wrestling. Great play there by Cody. Yeah, one. Can't man go out for another face. Face offs are huge, possessions are huge. Team Hall wins this one. Westfield's contesting them. Ball's loose. Like the 
Marshall comes in. Jim Hall gets the, the games of possession. Tom comes down. Judge in some minis. Travels for a rattle right now. Oh, almost went out of bounds. We hold on to it. Up top. We're looking for that skip pass. We're not there yet. Westfield's got their sticks in passing lanes. Shot goes wide. Yeah, we'll take that shot. Wide on net. Gilbert's seen it. 15 yard shot. That's what the team is supposed to give up. Trap gets it back. Conti's out there at 24. They beat the three shots. Doesn't get through. I'm not sure who it hit. I think it might have hit Evan Alvarez. It's thick. Green Hall gets it back. Prep looking for that opportunity. Nothing there yet. That's not it. Bad angle, bad shot. Goes out of bounds. Prep backs it up and they're going to keep it. Nine and a half to go. We'll take that shot all day. Sense Fred Preps getting a little frustrated here. He's trying to press here. Shot wide again. Take these uh, shots and press taken. Preps going to this cage by 10 yards. Three shot goes wide again. They're not hitting the net at all. But when they have them, Gilford can stop them. Ref has behind. Marshall's back there. Pravlik. Jack Harris answering the D. Shot. Save Gilford. This one is on net. Gilford stepped up and made the save. Gilford coming up to center field. Find Stan McGann. Danson looks to clear it. He gets it down to Cody. Transition opportunity. Cody shoots. Save. Good clear there by Westfield. Good opportunity in transition. Just in case. Here comes Pep in their own transition. They slow it down. They shoot. Offside press. They're way offside. He's going there. Not offside. Hold on. I'm not sure what happened. They called offside because they only had two guys back. All right, I'm a little confused. Apparently, the offside's on us. So they should have thrown a flag instead of blowing the whistle. I didn't see the offside by us. And I think Boomer's asking for uh, clarification as well. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, to be perfectly honest. But I didn't really see it. But the net of it is, Prep is going to have a man up for 30 seconds on an offsides call. Coach Wortheim has got the explanation. He seems okay with it. Let's go back to kill this man up opportunity. Alvarez out there. Harris Pravlik. Good be there. Michael Marshall. Good pass up top. Shot. Good it. Good moment. Good was there by Pratt. Good shot from up top. Good by Gilford. 9-6. 750 going in the first quarter. Possessions are big, face-offs are big. Here comes Pam Mangers, had a nice game. 
He went on the far side of the Pontes, really grinded out there as well, done a good job battling for ground balls. Big possession here. Stop the momentum. Ball's loose. You know Fred's going to pick it up. No, he doesn't. Cody knocks him down. Ball's still loose. He got a whistle. He got a loose ball push against Westfield. Might have been Cody banging, uh, banging his guy a little too hard there. Fred trying to clear it. He get it to a short stick. He's going to look to clear it. He does. He's coming down the middle. Transition opportunity again. He gets a chance for a shot. Got a goal. Transition goal there. Off the clear by Fred. Let's go. Not able to get the center. Big face-off, Caramango. Ball behind Caramango, he doesn't see it, it's loose. Prep picks it up. Possession for a single prep. They're going to look for a quick opportunity, nothing there. They're going to slow it down. Lots of time left, seven minutes to go. Eternity in lacrosse. That pass are offensive players in. Five hands free shot. Why? The shot will take again, especially number five. He doesn't seem to have a hot hand. Hasn't really sniffed the goal yet. But Marshall has the ball behind. He's a free shot goal. Quick move from 11 to the crease. Quick shot. Up the right hand corner. Double up stop by Gilbert. It's a one goal game. Russell just moving around, 
be a little patient right now. The big offense open set. Now they're getting into their uh, attack mode. Journey behind. Journey so short stick behind. Gets a hit from the game. Oh, oh, Man up. Really didn't like the first snow call, man. That's a cheap shot. You gotta throw the flag on those. The ref made the call the second time. Westfield's man up. Kobe Walden back on the, in the game. This is Westfield's first man up opportunity all game. Walden's on the man up to 21 with the ball right now. Angel's out there too, number nine. First time Angel's been out there. Angel has it now. Walden up top. Walden up top down to Ferguson. Coyle behind. Coyle Williams on the crease. Gilford on the wing. Up top to Angelo. It's only 30 seconds. Westfield's got to go here. Tom Coyle with it, back up to Wallman. Back to Coyle, shot, oh, geez! I'll tell you what! Tom Coyle, take me out, I thought that was a shot. That was a pass to Cody Lamb. Cody Lamb quick stick it in. What a great play by Colin Coyle. Creating the opportunity, getting the assist, and a great finish by Cody Lamb. I thought, I thought Coyle was shooting that ball for sure. Great play. 10 8, great response for Westfield. 343 to go for Westfield up two. Great man up play there. Caramango on the face. He stays off the big. His lessons are huge. Ball's loose, Caramango's on the ground, ball's still loose. Yeah. Yeah. The ball. Yeah. Westfield's man up again. Definitely some new faces. Different players out on the man up. Ferguson, Coyle. Cody Lamb are still on attack. Where we got Christian Gilford, Kobe Walman, and Luke Angelo as the quote unquote midfielders on this man up team. Refs are talking it over, I'm not sure about what. 30 second push. Technical foul, 30 seconds. Westfield's man up. Christian Gilford's going to have the ball top center at the 40. 325 to go in the game. Westfield up 10 8, and we're man up. Angel on the far side, Ferguson on the far side, Tom Coyle behind, over to Walden. Cody Walden. Cody has it now. Behind a coil. Christian Gilbert. Walden up top. Walden drawing some pressure. Christian Gilbert counts up. We're all even, that's fine. Walden with the ball, we're all even. Walden's a freshman, it's his first game in high school, and he wants the ball and he wants to take his man behind X one on one. I love it. Here comes Walden. He's going to pack him. He's got his short stick, taking the bacon behind the ball, and gets it up top of the court.
coil with the ball. Get the six and Ferguson. Nothing really there. Let's build up two here. There's about two minutes to go. There is no rush. Kobe has it. Kobe skip pass. Gets intercepted by the cut player. And they're in transition and they have an opportunity here to score. Get the transition. Good pass into the goal. by Westfield. See the whole cut station stands up. A good transition, good pass, and they're within one now. Another big face off of Caramango. Under two minutes to go here. See what little Conti on the wings. Ball's loose. Trap player goes down. No call. Trap looking to clear it. Now we get a whistle. Looks like a timeout by Trap. It is. Got 44 left. Trap has possession. Over the fifth and they call the timeout. Referee's talking about where the possession is going to be. If it's in uh, perhaps the defensive half or offensive half, it'll make a difference. Which is the option, if you have to ride or not. So Westfield's up the goal, about 44 to go. Kraft has the ball. Goes just turning in. Seton Hall Prep. Every year, one of the best teams in the state. This year, they're one of the best teams in the state. And after watching Summit go down to Westfield last week and watching this effort tonight, confidently say Westfield's one of the best teams in the state. Whatever happens in the next minute 44. Westfield competing against Seton Hall Prep in a way that I've never seen before. Just an outstanding effort on both sides of the ball. That's still playing great. So Prep's going to get it pretty much at the 50. So there's going to be no ride here. We're going to have a free clear, more or less. Cody Lamb's going to try to cheat, but he's on the 48-yard line. You have to be five yards away, so... He'll get over easily. Prep looking to tie it up. Alex Kim out there, number five, short stick team maybe with Evan Alvarez. You see where Prep looking for that opportunity to feed in the crease. It's been working for him. The shots on the outside have not been working, but when they can feed that crease, shot goes wide. Their best scoring opportunities and how they're scoring goals is when they can feed back crease. That's when they're getting the goals again. Sometimes it's a skip pass, but it's pretty much that crease. Look. Westfield's looking to shut that off and keep them outside, give up the 15 yard outside shot. Step working it around. Nothing there. See what our ball shot. See Gilford. Great goal by Gilford. And then there she goes. They're leaving Gilford alone again. Now they're going after him. Harris has it. He's going to look for the open man. No one there. He's going to clear it himself and he does. And their player goes outside. He should call it. I think we need a timeout by Wertheimer. Two timeout by Coach Wertheimer. Great play there by Jack Harris pulling the ball. For once again, just a big save by Corey Gilford in that. He's been playing out. Stink. Big, big stop. 38 seconds to go. Westfield has possession. Seed Hall's going to be pressing out, trying to get that ball back. 
my guess is they're probably going to pull their goalie, put two guys from goal and double it, and try to force something. I look for Colin Coyle or Cody Lamb to start with the ball. Maybe Billy Gurney, who's got sick wheels. We'll leave that up to Coach Porto. A lot of time left. It's just about maintaining possession at this point for Westfield. Burning these 38 seconds. Playing smart lacrosse. Westfield looking to finish with an unbelievable day of lacrosse. Capping it off with a victory here. Looks like Tom Coyle's going to go get the ball for 40. Their goalie's coming out. They're going to double Colin Coyle. Goalie's out of net. Colin's going to run as hard as he can, try to get the ball behind X as far away from our goal as he can. He gets hammered. And we get a flag. Coyle draws the flag. The ball is loose. Ferguson picks it up. He's still got possession. Cody has it. 20 seconds to go. The flag is down, so we're going to get possession back. 15 seconds to go. Christian Gilford with it. Looking to kill it. Falls loose here. Paul Kruk gets it back. Tom Coyle took a nasty check. The flag came out. Probably a cross check. 10 seconds to go. West Hill's going to have possession. Man up. 10 seconds to go. It looks good. Tough play there by Colin Coyle. They called unnecessary roughness on that one. Coyle will take that hit all day. He's a big kid, he's a strong kid, plays some football. They're going to double the ball again. Westfield's man up. They got the man advantage. Coyle's going to look to burn this himself. He falls, five seconds to go. Ball still loose. That's over. Huge left for the rest of Making your play for the best of the right now. Two in front of me through the whole prep. Historic win. I don't think we've ever been shooting the whole prep. This is a big game. Good market for the rest of the cross. Congrats. Congrats to all the kids and all the coaches. Great effort.